let's find the zeros of a linear function. So remember our definition of a zero, a zero is whenever f of x equals zero. What gives me a zero output, not a zero input? And so with, with that, let's start with the simple example, g of z equals minus 4x plus 12. Well, the easiest way to do this is to replace the function notation with a zero, because we, we want to know when it's equal to zero. And notice that this then is just a linear equation. So let's subtract 12 from both sides. Get minus 12 equals minus 4x. Divide both sides by negative 4. So we keep our equal sign the same, and negative 12 divided by negative 4 is negative or positive 3. Negative divided by negative is a positive. And we usually like to rewrite that as x equals 3. So the zero of this function is x equals 3. And we have a point at 3, 0, as well as f of 3 equals 0. These are different ways of writing the zero. Let's look at another example. Suppose we have f of t equals 3t plus 9, and we're asked to find the zero, so we can again replace f of t with a zero. And this time I want to keep my t on the left, so I'm going to move my t. So we get negative 3t equals 9, we divide by a negative 3, and we get t equals negative 3. So again, for our zero, we have the point negative 3, 0. We have f of negative 3 equals 0. And we have the statement t equals negative 3 coming from the fact that we have our 0.